Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jordan Beck and behind the camera is my wife, Elaitra Beck and together we are around the world and back. Today's video is going to be focusing on TLF or temporary lodging facility here at RAF Lake and Heath. And specifically this will be the non-pet lodging. So let's get away from this cold and head on inside and we'll tell you what it's like. Be starting off here at the Tobin Suite. We don't really know what the difference is between the suite level and the individual rooms uh, located just down the hall. We're assuming that the suite has a separate living room area as opposed to just one big room with a bed. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So right away this is the non-pet lodging here at RAF Lake and Heath and if you want to watch or compare what the pet lodging is like to this one. You can watch the video up above and uh, right away, it's quite a downgrade compared to the pet lodging. So you have a very small desk here as you're greeted right away. And then you come over here to the kitchen unit or what is arguably a kitchen unit. Uh, you wanna watch your head. I've hit my head on this a couple of times, but once in here, you're gonna notice that it is nothing compared to what the pet lodging has, which has a whole kitchen and cookware and utensils and this has a small fridge small sink and a really old microwave you're also going to have a uh, coffee machine that hasn't been used in quite some time and an ice bucket which there is an ice machine that actually works in this building as compared to the pet lodging but it's located in the laundry room and the laundry room is not in the actual room itself so you do have to go and use the public um, washer and dryer units, but they do have the soap and stuff there available for purchase for 75 cents in the washing unit. Another thing to note is that it does have certain hours of operation as opposed to at the pet lodging, you just run it constantly because it's in your unit. Here you have uh, certain hours to follow. So with the kitchen unit done, we're gonna transition over to the other side of the very small room. Uh, and as you can see all of our stuff as we're PCSing, has it's not really storage for it it's just kind of there in the room so that's another downside of this place but hey we got a couch and it's a small table and a tv um the tv is up to date thankfully so you can utilize your apple tv which is a really big tip that we recommend is that you bring some sort of streaming device apple tv roku uh, fire stick that you can plug in and use with the Wi-Fi here. Um, some of the TV channels are a little lacking. However, another downside to this room, and I don't know if it's the position that this room is at, but the Wi-Fi is terrible. It constantly drops and really bad speeds. So it is recommended that you download things before you come to this room. But two other notes that we're gonna make before we transition to the bedroom is you have a small end table here with a phone that's gonna work with a DSN. You can call local numbers as well. Just be wary of the charges, but it's going to be our power strip, which we also recommend because all of the cables and all of the outlets seem to be in very weird positions. So having this and being able to bring it out when you have small cords for your devices is gonna be really helpful. So it's gonna take a UK plug and basically turn it into any outlet. So US, European, UK, and it's got like six plugs and four USB slots, which is really nice. You can check it out down in the description below if you want something like this, but that's pretty much it. There's also gonna be reception in this room as opposed to the TLF for pet lodging. So if you need to make those final local calls right before you PCS out, it's gonna be much better. So the bedroom is a much smaller area. So this section right here, the first one has a shoe rack and then the two slots over here are some weird combination of space that you can't really even fit a suitcase. Uh, there's some pipes in the way, there's some shelving in the way, and then on that shelf is going to be a safe. So I guess at least you have that. But over here, you've got a dresser, um, which is also again, pretty small and you have a TV. You've got a hair dryer, which I think is going to be definitely better than the one at the pet lodging because that one 
was a weird hose that activated right away. This one, you have some settings that you can pull away and you have this mirror that's gonna be separate from the bathroom. And then you come over here to the big windows, which does help bring in the natural light and it's also going to help make the room feel a lot bigger. But you do have two downsides. One, if you're PCSing sometime during the winter, it's gonna get dark really quick and it's gonna be hard to adjust that from the state. And secondly, with big windows comes a lot less insulation. So it can get really cold here. Thankfully, there's this big um, radiator here that sometimes works. So you have to fight between the heat of this and the uh, windiness that's pushing in the cold air. And then in the corner over here next to the bed is gonna be a nightstand that also has another phone and uh, some plugs there in the back so you can charge your devices at night. And last but not least, is going to be the bathroom. So stepping into the very small door frame here, I'm six foot three. So if you're as uh, tall as I am or smaller, you're gonna have to duck. But uh, yeah, it's a cold, cold room. So always have this door closed during the winter because there's gonna be a vent up here that's kind of preventing moisture from building. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty dated bathroom. It's got a shower, a vanity, and a toilet, so it is gonna get the job done. And the whole shower unit is pretty much the same. Um, but let me tell you, I didn't think there was a shower that would take that long to heat up. And I'm not kidding, when you turn on that hot water, it's gonna take like 10 minutes for it to heat up. So just keep that in mind, be patient with it. It's all temporary lodging, right? So with that, it's pretty much gonna conclude the inside of the room here. There is gonna be the commissary not too far from the TLF buildings. There's also gonna be the BX. And you have a playground, you have the washer and dryer unit that we mentioned before. There's also a vending machine that takes British coins on the first floor. All in all, that's gonna wrap up our tour. So if you enjoy this sort of thing or have more questions about what it's like to move to England, be sure to check out the Moving to England playlist located up above. And with that, we'll see you guys next week.